Ladies and gentlemen, ladies, gentlemen, I want to have a serious discussion with you. And please comment down below. Don't just look, listen to the video and don't like it and just go on to the next thing, next video, go on whatever you were doing about your business. Please comment down below. I want this to be a discussion. My question is, should people be tested, retested for their license every 10 to 15 years or retested for their license every time they have to go and renew their license? Or at a certain age, like once you're in your, your 50s or you have to be retested because a lot of elderly people cannot drive and should not be behind the wheel. Now, don't get me wrong. A lot of people under the influences of alcohol and other medications and uh, people with, you know, uh, mental you know, mental illnesses or emer medical emergencies happen you're behind the wheel. I'm not talking about those people or young kids. I know, you know, young kids drive fast and reckless too. But a lot, when I say a lot, come on. If, if you're on the road, if you're a driver, you know. A lot of elderly people, you know, they cut you off or they're breaking on the highway. You know, whatever it is that they do, you know, turn right on red, you know, literally almost hit you or they do or you have been hit by an elderly person, you know, you, or you, you they, whatever they do, you drive by and you look, you see. They don't have they don't have any tents. You see, they're an elderly person, and you're like, "Come on, man! It's freaking old people." I know you have experienced it. You know, whoever you are watching this video right now, I know you have experienced it, and and it's a huge problem. It really is. The other day, I was on the highway, and I literally, I swear on my life, God strike me dead if I'm lying. An old dude, literally driving like this is. Let's say the wheels right here. He was driving like this, with his mouth open like this, driving slow. Hazards on, driving slow, hazards on, in a slow lane. I'm looking, I'm like, he should not be behind the wheel. Like, he literally looked like an elderly man that should be in a home. And, I, and I'm not going to lie. We, obviously, we, I'm going to get old. We all get old. But when I get to that certain age, I, I'm fine. I'll take, I'll take my L if I got to ha have a driver. Listen. And this is why saving money and uh, managing your money is everything. Whether you're single or in a relationship, you have to save your money to set up for your future. Especially if you're a person like me who who doesn't have kids yet and really doesn't plan on having kids. You know, I don't know what the future holds. I'm still young, you know, and as a man, you know, my, my royal oats, I can soil them for years to come. You know, look at Al Pacino and what, Robert De Niro? Al Pacino, whoever, I forget who the other guy was, correct me if I'm wrong, but they just recently had a baby. So some months ago and they're and they're old in their 60s right so it's possible especially with my good genetics you know and my and my good health i'm aging like fine wine baby comment down below if you agree but that's neither here nor there but yeah my point my point being is um i'll take my l if i have to have a driver or i have to start uber if i need to go somewhere you know I'm fine doing that when I'm a, when I'm an older person, you know. I've had my my years of my fun of driving, you know, and now I have to be driven around. You know, it is what it is. But a lot of older people, some don't know or some are in denial, you know, and they're on their own and they've always been like that. Some of them have families and they've always just been that, you know, that one in the family that that grandfather that just and that father to their their younger daughters, whether their daughters in their 30s and 40s by now, that was always stubborn. You know, that always felt like they were independent. You know, that's some women and that's some elderly men as well. They've just always been that way and they're staying that way. Oh no, I don't need you to do this. I can do it. And I've seen it before. I've seen some older people people that are old, like moving slow, look like they're frail, and they're just they're just getting it. They're in the grocery store, they're doing their grocery shopping, they're getting their gas. I see them out and about. You know, and I, I'll be thinking to myself, like, man, they're kind of up in the age. They should have some help with them groceries. They, they, you know, they shouldn't be doing that on their own. I'll be thinking to myself, and I'll be feeling bad, you know. But this is the world we live in. This is not talked about. I really think that this is something that should be talked about. That's why I'm, I'm having this video, you know. And some of you watching, you really love your grandmothers. You really love your grandfathers, you know. They're, they're really dear to your hearts. You know, I don't, unfortunately, I don't have that. I wish I had that. You know, my upbringing was really different. I'm not going to get into that and go down that rabbit hole. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, you, you care about your grandparents. You want the best for them, you know, and some of, you know, some of, you know, they're driving, they're getting of that age and they're, they're becoming senile, you know, and they're, and they're, their driving isn't the best and you know, they shouldn't be behind the wheel, but you don't say nothing. Or maybe you have said something. And again, you're dealing with somebody who's stubborn. But if you're not and you, you got a grandparent that maybe will listen to you and, you know, if you kind of sometimes you may have to treat a situation like an intervention. 
just for their well-being, for their health. Listen, you can't be driving anymore. You know, I don't want to have to physically take away your keys, but we're going to have to come to it. You're going to have to sell this car. You're going to have to sell it. You know, you, you, you literally, it just, it just hit me. Ladies and gentlemen, it just hit me. You may have to treat, get, get with your grandparents, your grandfather, your grandmother, and treat it like an, treat driving like an intervention. Like, listen, you have a problem. Greeny, you have a problem. Pop, pop, Nani, whatever you call him. Rest in peace to my, my, my Italian grandmother. I called her Nani. You have a problem. You can't be driving anymore. It's become an addiction because you're not good at it. You're going to put, you're going to hurt yourself or hurt somebody else. This has to come to an end. I know you've been driving yourself around. You've been doing it for years. You know, you, you, you got to get to your appointments. I'll take you. Or you get, we'll hire you a driver. Again, we, let's get back to the financial situation. You got to save up for your future. Don't worry about now. Yeah, you may not have it now. But when you 60, 70, make sure you have it. You have it where you can hire you a driver. And you can afford to pay for that Uber. You know what I'm saying? Pay for those things. Pay pay for people, you know what I mean, to, to take to uh to help you with things. Maybe not take care of you. Cuz I can't say I do and others may fully believe in caretakers, especially nowadays, man. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to put shame cuz there are great caretakers out there. You may be watching this and you may be one or have somebody in your family that takes care of elderly people and is amazing at their job and is well connected. You may even be connect connected to them because of your family member. So, I'm no shame on you. No disrespect. I'm talking about the scenarios we've seen online and the people that we know of that have been abused. Let's talk about it, man. Elderly people getting abused. An elderly person is like a baby in my eyes. If you don't see an elderly person, an elderly person that, you know, that is a is a good person, elderly person that, that has a family, you know, that's a work, not a homeless, but like a normal being, good, clean, you know, whatever. Nobody's perfect, but like, you know what I'm saying? A regular elderly person. If you don't see an elderly person as like a baby compared to a baby, there's something wrong with you. You should look at an elderly person and be like, oh, you know, show respect. You know, hold the door open if, if it's in that situation. Or sometimes I just admire. Like, I love older ladies. Older ladies are the sweetest and the cutest. Especially when I see them with couples, I'd be like, oh, look at that cute old, older couple. You know what I mean? Still together. Look at that cute older lady. Especially older white ladies. Old, older white ladies are the sweetest. And for some reason, they are so sweet to me. They always ask me to help them get stuff at the grocery store. I've always been in situations where they talk to me today. God strike me dead if I'm lying. I swear today, ladies and gentlemen. I was just at Bass Pro. And a white lady was talking to me about the hats. I was looking at the hats. She was like, buy both of them. Wear one. But she was like, buy one of one of each. She said. She said, wear one on one day, one on Tuesday. One on... She was so cute. And she was with her husband. You could tell she's a friendly, outgoing, you know, just joyful older lady. But she's getting up in the age. And maybe she could still drive fine. But it looks like soon she she probably getting to, maybe she can't drive. But everybody's situation is different. It's different. Some older people be 70s, late 80s and they're great drivers. Good, fine. But a lot of them are really, really bad. Really, really bad. And if you know your grandparent is a bad driver, and you may have to sit down and have a serious talk with them. Maybe time to sell that car and take away those keys. You know, and if you have the time to drive them and get them groceries and do what you can, do what you can to help. But, um, yeah, this this is a big problem. You know, I didn't want to make this video, but I, I thought about how long it's been going on and how many almost close calls I've had and accidents I've seen from elderly people. You know, one of my boys just got hit by an older lady. What are the chances of him... She hit him right in the tire part where um you put the air in. When you go to put air in your tires. The nozzle, the gauge, whatever you call it. She hit she where she hit him, it busted that, cracked that. What are the chances of that? Older lady. Oh, I'm so sorry I didn't see you. The light, the glare. Comment down below again. Let me know how you feel. So this is a discussion. This is something that needs to be shared and spread and talked about. Because I'm not seeing anywhere on social media where this is being talked about. Yes, helping with your relationship and financial goals and what this rapper is doing and isn't doing and what when they're dropping this and dropping that. Yeah, I, I get it. These are all stuff that a lot of people care about. But this is something that people should care about. Because your grandmother, your grandfather, a lot of people hold their grandparents near and dear to their heart. They love and care about their grandparents. So how, how, how is their driving? And if you haven't, you don't know how their driving is, 
Go hit, call him up one day. Oh, let's t- let's take a drive. You, you drive. I'm gonna take you out to eat. But can you drive? Oh, something's up with my car. Or uh, I don't feel like taking my car. Can you come pick me up? See how they driving is. And that'll be the test. All right. See you in the next one. Peace and love.